Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw cat fur in coloured pencil. You can apply this technique as well to any type of fur that you may be drawing. All the materials used are listed in the description below should you wish to check those out. So the first thing that I do when I start any fur is put down a base layer and I usually work from light to dark colours. So the colour that I'm putting down in this example is a warm grey one and I'm just using a general shading technique and I'm working in the direction that all of that fur is going in. So I'm looking at my reference photo and just picking out all the different directions that the fur is going in. I then go over with a second layer and again this is another light colour and I like to use a colder version of the colour that I'm using if the first colour was warm. So in this instance I'm using a cold grey one and again I'm just using a general shading technique and going in the direction that that fur is going in. I then like to go in and pencil in some of my midtones and I start off the midtones by using the shading technique that we used for the previous two layers. And then I go in and I start to add some fur lines. I'm using a tapered stroke for this. So to do a tapered stroke, what I do is put my pencil down on the paper. And then as I'm drawing the line or the fur stroke, I'm lifting my pencil up as we go. So it's hard pressure to begin with. And then as you get to the end of the little hairline, then you lift the pressure off the pencil and it, it creates a nice smooth transition. So I start to do those types of hairs and I look at my reference photo and I see where those darkest parts on the reference are. In my instance it's around the eyebrows and the bottoms of the ears and to get a really dark colour to begin with before going in with really heavy dark colours with the dark sepias and blacks I like to just group some of those fur lines together so it creates a really nice tone without using hard pressure or going in with those darker colours initially. I then like to build up the colours, so I like to work my way towards the darker colours. In this instance, for the midtones, I used a warm grey 4, and then I slowly built up and used a warm grey 5, warm grey 6, and then eventually got to the dark sepia. As I build up the layers on the fur, I start to add less lines as we get to those darker colours. So when I get to the dark sepia colours, go on the very top layer, I add very, very few hairs and again I look at my reference photo I see where the darkest parts are and I only add the hair lines and any shading if necessary in those parts. I don't like to add all of the dark hairs all over it looks quite samey and it, you don't get a realistic look for the fur if you start to add all of those dark lines all over. So once I've done the fur and I've got in the contrast between the light and the dark correct then I like to go over and glaze any colours that might be existing in the fur. On this example of this cat, there's some brown colours glazed in there. So what I do to do that is I just gently use my pencil with light pressure, usually on the side of the pencil, and just glaze the colours just using a back and forth motion on top of those initial layers which I did to create the fur look. As you can see on the forehead, it's got a nice brown tone which is where I've glazed some nougat and also some walnut brown on there just to bring out a little bit of depth within the fur. I also like to go over and add any lighter areas with a Caran d'Ache Luminance white pencil and you can see this just around the inside of the eyebrows as you come towards the centre of the face. There's just a few lighter patches, you can also see it underneath the eye of the cat. It's just lighter patches that just help to bring the contrast to the face, helps to define all that bone structure and everything. So this is just a really, really short tutorial on how I would render fur in a very, very basic way. If you want to learn more about how I work and follow along in real time, then check out my Patreon page. I have over 75 videos available on there for just $5 per month. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel and tick the bell icon as well to be notified of my future videos and tutorials. And I will see you in my next video, guys. Bye.